Thank you, Christine, to welcome us here in your beautiful cellar in Pernod Vergeres. With pleasure. Pernod Vergeres is also a wine appellation, a village appellation. Yes. We produce, if I remember, white and red wine. Exactly, both colors. Both colors. So, can you tell us about this Pernod Vergeres blanc? Yes. So, Pernod Vergeres uh, appellation white is a wine with the main characteristic of minerality. Uh, the wines are very fresh, they also have very nice aromas, and they're a little tight when they're young. They can age very well, even if you can try them when they're young. Okay, so it seems to be a very attractive appellation. It is. It has a good minerality that if you like this type of wine, you will enjoy a lot. Okay, so and about the Premier Cru, is it uh, some difference with the village and the Premier Cru appellation? So the Pernod Vergeles Premier Cru in white has also very nice minerality, which is really the characteristic of the appellation, but has also, also very nice freshness and um, nice aromas. Uh, it is a wine that has also nice complexity and that will age very well even longer than the village wines. So if I see it, this is it's a beautiful wine, you can keep probably a bit longer. Yes, you can keep it m much longer than, than the village wine, though if you like the minerality, you can try it young with nice aromas. Yeah, but it seems to be fantastic and very attractive. It is. Please try, so we, try it. We may taste it, yeah. Please. Yeah, well, that's, that's a very, very fine and elegant wine. Uh, it's a great wine. Yes, it is a great appellation. So, we know that uh, we have also, in Pernod Vergeles, some Pinot Noir, so we produce some red wine. Of course. So, can you tell us about the Pernod Vergeles, uh, the red Pernod red. Vergeles? So, the red Pernod Vergeles uh, has very nice aromas, fruit aromas, which are uh, characteristic of the Pinot Noir. Um, they also have uh, tannins that are quite firm and they have a nice minerality, again minerality. Uh, but those wines can be drunk rather early, but they can age a little bit. Oh, that's perfect for the consumer. That's perfect for uh, a consumer who doesn't want to wait too long. All oh, right, so very attractive. Let's see about the, the Premier Cru now. Is it the same or does it show some difference? Well, there's a difference, of course, between the village and the Premier Cru. And the main difference would be, I think, uh, the balance, which is uh, very important. The balance between the finesse and the structure, uh, but we also have uh, complexity and silky tenants, those round tenants that you can find young and that can age very well. Up to five, ten years, if you're patient enough. <laughs> we will be. Anyway, thank you, Christine, for this uh, fantastic tasting and, uh, you know, for uh, the explanation about uh, this appellation. You're uh, welcome. It was a great pleasure to have you and share those wines with you, which are very nice wines and wines to be known all over the world more maybe than they're known today. Thank, Thank you. you.